I'll begin my talk with this video. Sit back and enjoy. Fascinating, right? And I hope you were as mesmerized after hearing this as I was as a small boy of eight. This instrument is the tabla, an Indian classical percussion instrument, which I was really fond of when I was a small boy visiting my maternal grandfather's place. And so I encouraged him to buy me one. Finally, I got one after pestering him so much, delivered at my place around evening. And it was lying propped open over there, right there, and I was desperately waiting for it to play on its own. But there was not a sound. So out of frustration and much distress, I went and banged it. Bong. Though the sound was ugly, it still resonates within me. And you will not believe me, I can still feel that first touch. And so, I have come up with some research now which says, that every beat you play gets embedded as an impression in your mind, an imprint that guides your mind to work in a harmonious and synchronous fashion. Astonishing results, right? So as I progressively started mastering this beautiful instrument, I realized that the tabla is more like a language. It has its grammar and syntax that governs the beat. And this entire system of governance is known as the tal. Now, the data centers in our brain are very well evolved to understand and relate to the beat. And that's why, and that's why the tal helps in inducing emotions like joy, happiness, thoughtlessness, and many more, giving it enough power to cure several diseases like abnormal heart rhythms, anxiety, and hypertension. Something I slowly started to understand while learning this beautiful instrument is that the beat is very important. In the tabla, you open the beat and you close it. And what comes in the middle is your heart and soul poured in together. There is literally so much space to get creative that you can fill in the entire universe just in this matrix. And I call this property rhythmic uncertainty. The mind and the body of ours and the entire universe, for that matter, follows the modules of rhythmic uncertainty. They move by that. And therefore, through percussion, we can able to collaborate, coordinate, and synchronize with all the movement around us in our environment. And we can groove to the rhythm of the universe. And most of all, become a calm and composed person, because that's the most important thing, right? And that's why learning a percussion instrument is so important. In my case itself, it changed me from a little boy who troubled his mother too often to a person having enough courage to speak to you about the instrument that changed his life. Now again, besides the tabla, the percussion range is wide enough. And today, I'll talk to you about two more instruments which I really like in this percussion range. One is the goblet drum, quite famous in this Arabian region, called the darbuka. Well, I call it magic because it's so wonderful. And this is the conga, an instrument which makes me dance every time I listen to it. I get lost in thoughtlessness. Now you must be wondering, how can we take advantage of this exclusive, exquisite percussion and its properties? How will it benefit us? Because when we talk about percussion, not all of us are hardcore percussionists, right? So I have something for you over here. Unmute your mics, turn on your cameras, and closely follow what I show you now in this video.
I'm sure all of you would have enjoyed this exercise. And please do let me know by a show of hands if you have. Wow, so many of them raised. Thank you. And if this activity is so enjoyable and beneficial, why can't this be used in classrooms, offices, and workplaces to increase creativity, induce productivity, encourage people to move forward and motivate them to attain greater heights? I will leave you with a stunning yet beautiful thought. Thank you so much.